கோழிக்கோட்டு பொத்தை இஸ் அ வில்லேஜ் இன் கன்னியாகுமரி டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் பாப்புலேட்டட் பை அ கம்யூனிட்டி ஆஃப் தலித் ஃபார்மர்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ப்ராக்சிமிட்டி டு தோவாலை ஹாஸ் ப்ரமோட்டட் கமர்ஷியல் ஃப்ளோரிகல்ச்சர் த ரிசல்ட் இஸ் தட் த பேடி ஃபீல்ட்ஸ் வேர் ஷ்ரிங்கிங் அண்ட் ஹெவி டோஸ் ஆஃப் கெமிக்கல் ஃபர்டிலைசர்ஸ் வேர் பீங் இன்க்ரீசிங்லி யூஸ்ட் இட் இஸ் இன் திஸ் சுச்சுவேஷன் தட் வி ஃப்ரம் விவேகானந்தா கேந்திரா என்டர் த வில்லேஜ் அண்ட் செலக்டட் நைன்டீன் ஃபார்மர்ஸ் we started by organizing weekly farmers meeting here we commenced introducing such simple but effective sustainable technologies like backyard azolla cultivation as bio seed then we introduced vermi compost preparation in small plastic baskets for those farmers further interested we provided turnkey services and 13 vermi compost units came up in the village each having a ton capacity of vermi compost the villagers were taken for excursion tours to places like agricultural university livestock farm horticulture farm of periculum etc Last time when AICP team visited it was observed that the coconut gardens were not having intercrop they suggested that we should introduce some intercrops today we see fodder crops introduced in the coconut groves the farmer says that these fodder grass has been given absolutely no fertilizers natural or artificial when these fodder comes up all his livestock fodder needs will be taken care of this small space i have banana pomegranate bitter gourd snake gourd pumpkin and greens and this place has also become enriched with a lot of bio matter Meanwhile, we also transported Asola from backyard bed to paddy field. Soon, Asola in paddy field both as nitrogen fixing, soil enriching treatment and also as weed suppressor became very prevalent and popular in the village. So, Asola has now not just been introduced as a technology but integrated as a way of sustainability in the village. further asola percolated to the common waters and enriched the common waters also to generate employment in the lean period we have also introduced such as coconut climbing mission training to the youth per tree the charge of climbing being rupees 10 this can be practiced by village youth in neighboring villages also the coconut climbing mission belongs to the common utility center
Tree paddy cultivation has also been tried in one trial plot of a biofarm farmer, Mr. Murugan. Mr. Murugan says that in Sri he has been able to convert seed material. We then introduced traditional livestock based liquid fertilizers like panjakalyam, living water, vermi wash fish amino etc. The farmer Monica Vasakam explains. Regular interaction with various welfare associations and government agencies resulting in village panchayat president to nabad manager taking a special interest in the village the farmers group has now become a self help group what was once a common utility center in a humble room of a farmer has become a major agro service center situated prominently in the village main road the self help group also makes sales of biomass based liquid fertilizers like panchakavya and fish amino prepared by entrepreneurial women folk of the village and these are sold to the neighboring villages as well making the neighbors look at kolikot potai for guidance in sustainable farming avangal inda idella paathu nadhu vida namu undu or pilla ara kilo man pulu edutti poiruka from humble beginning of azola beds to pheromone traps today kolikottu pottai has a vibrant farmers movement they have asked the district authorities to take steps to make them state holders in the local pond which has been so far ignored by them they have started making neighboring villages aware of alternative farming technologies the future is bright for the farmers of kolikottu pottai and challenges also await on this less travel path to sustainability